Hi everyone. As you know, Zello and Common App have teamed up to streamline the college application process for students and educators. In this video, I'll walk you through the new Common App application workflows for your students, counselors, and teacher recommenders. Before we start, there are two important things to keep in mind. First is that your students will continue to complete the majority of their Common App application task directly in Common App. The only piece that will be completed in Zello is requesting their counselor and teacher recommenders. And the second is that as a counselor or teacher recommender, you will no longer be logging into Common App to manage requests because you'll be able to do everything in Zello instead. With that in mind, let's dive into what this looks like. We'll begin with the student experience. To start, students will go to commonapp.org and log into their Common App account or create a new one if they don't have one yet. I've already created an account, so I'm logging into mine here. Once logged into Common App, there are a few important steps your students must complete before attempting to link their account with Zello. In addition to building out their Common App portion, where they share information about themselves, their family, and their education history, students should complete these three steps. Step one is to add at least one college that they plan to apply via Common App to their My Colleges list. They can do this by clicking on the College Search tab, typing in a school name, and clicking the plus button. You can see here I've added Boston University, so when I navigate to my Colleges tab, it now shows up on my list. Step 2 is for students to identify their start term and admission plan, because that will enable recommenders to get insight into deadlines. To do that, students will click on the college name they just added, then click on Questions in the left-hand navigation. Under the general heading, they'll click to add a preferred start term and admission plan. They can then continue completing the rest of the questions, or they can work on them later. I'm going to leave this as is for now. Step 3 is to sign the FERPA authorization release. To do this, students will click on the Recommenders and FERPA section just below the questions, and then click to complete their FERPA release. They'll have to choose whether or not they want to waive their FERPA rights, and then click and sign the authorization. With these three key steps complete, students are ready to head over to Zello to connect their accounts. Before we jump into Zello, I'll just point out the section below the FERPA release because this is where students are alerted that they need to do some steps in Zello. If we scroll down in this Recommenders and FERPA section, you'll see that under both the Counselor and Teacher headings, students see this message that lets them know that their school is using Zello for transcripts, school reports, and recommendations. This means that students can only request other recommenders from directly within the Common App. That includes people like coaches, a pastor, employer, or anyone that is not a teacher or counselor at the student's current high school. With that in mind, let's jump into Zello to see how requests for teacher and counselor recommendations work. Once students log into Zello, they'll navigate to College Applications by clicking on the College Planning link under Goals and Plans, and then on View My Applications from the College Applications section. At the top of the page, they'll see this banner with the Common App logo, which they'll click on to connect their accounts. In the pop-up, they'll simply enter their Common App login credentials to connect. And once they've signed in, they're redirected back to Zello. As you can see, the banner will now be updated to show that the accounts are successfully connected. And when they scroll down to the list of colleges, students will see that any colleges they added to Common App have automatically synced to Zello and have a Common App logo next to the school's name. This Common App logo indicates that the student is applying to the school via Common App. If a student is applying to a school directly, they can still use an application tracker to track their tasks by adding the application manually using this new application link up top. But for the purpose of this video, we'll focus on the schools for which the students are applying to via Common App. Connecting accounts only has to be done once, so these steps won't have to be repeated. Students can now start requesting Common App recommenders through Zello by clicking on a college with a Common App logo. 
In the application checklist, they'll see two tasks, counselor forms and teacher evaluation. When assigning counselor forms in Zello, students will assign a counselor recommender who will complete their common app school reports, counselor recommendation, and any other forms that might be required, such as fee waivers. To do this, students will simply click the Assign Counselor button, select their counselor from the list of educators, and then click Send. A student only needs to request counselor forms for Common App Colleges once, even if they have multiple colleges on their list. And once they've made the request, they'll see a success message like this one in the checklist showing the date the request was sent and who it was sent to. To request teacher evaluations in Zello, students will click the Request button and select the teacher they would like to write their evaluation. Once your students have submitted a request, they'll see a success message as well as the option to delete the request. They can also click on the Request button again to send another evaluation request for a different teacher. They'll be able to send as many requests as is noted as the maximum number in the checklist. This minimum and maximum is determined by Common App. When students submit counselor forms and teacher evaluation requests, the assigned educators will receive an email notification with instructions on how to action the request. But let's log into an educator account in Zello now to show you the steps to action requests as a counselor or teacher. Once you've logged into your Zello educator account, you'll click on Features, College Planning, and then Common App. On this page, you'll be able to see all the student requests that have been assigned to you. For each request, you'll see if you've been assigned as a counselor or teacher, the deadline if it's available, and the summary of the required forms and their statuses. Before you can review the request details, you must first complete the relevant Common App profile. If you have been assigned as both a counselor and a teacher recommender, you can complete both the teacher and counselor profiles. Let's click into a counselor profile first. You'll see it includes fields for personal details and details related to the school, like how you manage class rank, GPA, transcripts, and so on. If we go back and click into a teacher profile, you'll see it's a bit simpler and includes primarily personal details. You only need to complete your counselor or teacher profile once, and it can then be edited at any time. To save some time, I'm going to jump into account in which I've already completed both profiles, so we can start reviewing requests. Once you've completed your profile, the review link will appear next to student request. If you're a counselor with Zello administrator level access, you'll be able to see and submit counselor forms for any student, regardless of which counselors the student asked to complete those forms by selecting Others Counselor Requests. I'm going to click into a counselor request first. Here you'll see the student details, the list of common app forms for you to complete, and the colleges that the student is planning to apply to via Common App. To action this request, you'll simply click to complete each of the required forms. Since I've already started on the school report form and have filled in the required fields, I have the option to edit or send. I'm going to click edit to show you what the form looks like. Important things to keep in mind as you fill in forms is that the information you enter should always match the weights displayed in the form. For example, dates must follow the indicated format and any files you attach must be PDF files to prevent errors from occurring. When adding transcripts to a form, you may have the option to attach an imported transcript. If this is the case, your school has integrated transcript sending in Zello for all colleges, not just Common App applications. You may choose to use imported transcript or upload a new PDF. Once you're happy with the form, click Done to save. Now you're ready to click Send, which will send the form directly to Common App. It's important to note that sent forms cannot be retracted, so it's always worth double-checking your work before sending it off. Let's quickly click into a teacher request. Similar to a counselor request, you'll see the student details and the teacher evaluation form for you to complete. It's important to remember that your teacher evaluation and the letter you attach within it will be shared with all the colleges the student decides to apply to within Common App. That will include any of those you see on the list today, as well as those that are added by the student at a later date. For this reason, your evaluation should always be generic and should not be customized for a specific school. Similar to the forms in the counselor request, once you're done filling in your evaluation, you'll have the option to either edit or send it to Common App. 
And that's it for actioning requests. Simply fill in and send. To check on the status of a student's Common App connection or request, go to your student's profile by searching or clicking on their name. Then click on the College Planning tab. Here you'll see if the student's account is connected to Common App, which staff have been assigned to complete their counselor forms, which day the requests were made, and the earliest form deadline. Next, you'll see the status of every Common App form. Each form has a date and timestamp that tells you when the form was sent to Common App, when the student sent their application to an institution, and when the form was sent and opened by the institution. The warning symbols you see on the page make it clear that some forms still need to be actioned. If you continue to scroll down the page, you'll find a summary of the student's teacher recommenders. Similar to the counselor forms table, you'll see a date and timestamp that tells you when the recommender was requested, when the evaluation form was sent to Common App, when the application was sent by the student, and when the form was sent and opened by the institution. You can also find this information for each of your students through the College Planning Report tab. Here you'll see both the Common App Counselor Forms Report and Teacher Evaluations Report. Let's click into the Counselor Forms Report first. As you can see, this report shows the same information we just saw in the student profile. You can either scroll through or filter the report to see a subset of students. The messaging feature is a great way to keep your student's application on track. Let's jump into the teacher evaluations report. Like the counselor forms report, it shows the same information that you see in an individual student's profile and can be filtered to show a subset of students. You can also download this report if you need to share or store the information offline. Before we wrap up, I want to mention that we are consistently improving our integration with Common App so you can expect other enhancements throughout the year. If you're looking for resources to share step-by-step -step instructions with students or other educators, we recommend downloading our Common App Guide from our Support Center. To do that, simply visit help.zello.world and search for Common App Guide. And if you need any help with technical support, please reach out to our Client Solutions team. You can reach them by email at help.zello.world or by calling 1-800 965-8541. Thanks for watching.